did Isaiah recruit you to Indiana? Uh, no, Isaiah never recruited me. To, Isaiah never recruited me. Did Magic recruit you to Michigan State? Hold on one second, Dan. My kids are in homeschool. Be quiet down there. <laughs> Daddy's working. <laughs> How many kids are at home? Uh, two. I have uh, twins uh, and uh, four-year-olds and... Uh, you know, they're about that life. So I got to wake up early and be ready for life. <laughs> my my hey. thumb up waited to this long to happen. But anyway, uh, no, he didn't He didn't recruit me to Indiana. It's funny. Uh, the point guard that I mentioned earlier, and you know, Max, he uh, took me to Indiana with him. And I got to meet, like, uh, it's funny. It was an unofficial recruiting trip. But Bobby and I had to know because I go to practice with my point guard from high school, and Lawrence Funderburk is in there, and he's going like this, don't come here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just and and Lawrence right went to Ohio State. Transferred. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby Knight didn't like Lawrence either, so. <laughs> oh, that is funny. So you're seeing Lawrence Funderburk, who's on the Indiana team, and he's saying, do not come here. <laughs> okay, then I'll be quick. Um so I go into their locker room and then during practice, it was crazy because they had like eight managers and the managers were taking stats in practice. I had never seen anything like this. And I was a big, big 10 fan. So I wanted to meet Bobby Knight and couldn't believe he could look me in my eye and he was tall and big and had on a red sweater and everything. And so I get the chance to go in the locker room while all of them are huddled up, Calvert Chaney, I, I'll never forget this. And I had a hat on and like the guys are like, you better take that hat off or, Bobby Knight's gonna come here and smack you in the head. Like they're scaring me, teasing me. You know, I don't know what's going on, but I, I figure out that they're joking. And then I'm like, man, it's nice, man. I love the way the arena, the seats go all the way up to the top. It's cool here. It's cool. And uh, Funderburg is just doing like this. He's like, no. And coach comes in and he just he stops. And the next year he transfers. So uh, he, you know, he saved me from even thinking about Indiana. Did Did uh, Magic recruit you to Michigan State? Yes. Oh, boy. And you had to tell Magic no? You know, as much as I love Isaiah, I love Magic. Because Magic was from the state. And so when I was 12 years old, I'd go on this interview. And uh, I, they said, what school do you want to go to? I never thought about it. I said, Michigan State because of Magic. And uh, the next day, I get a call from Judd Heathcote. Uh, this is when Tom Izzo and I actually became close during this time. And I get to go up there. And as a, tw as a 13 year old with my green school uh, corduroys and white shirt, <laughs> I get to run a game with Magic Johnson um, at the Jenison Fieldhouse. I'll never, for I'll never forget it. It was he and Kevin Willis and a bunch of other players. And I missed the pass and hated myself and caught one and made a layup. I had penny loafers on. I mean, it's, I, I, it's, 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 it's the weirdest story. But yeah, from then he would talk to me and try to recruit me. And, you know, all of that good stuff. So, yeah, I was a big fan of Michigan State growing up.